What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. So if you guys were here for episode 18 of our NASCAR Heat 5 career, I said I was going to simulate the rest of the way through. I got an offer to run for a five-star team in the truck series, but then I just got to this point and uh, it's given me the option to participate. Actually, I have to participate in the Xfinity series. Huh. So we're in the Xfinity series apparently. Which is news to me. <sighs> Do we join a team or start a team? I say we join a team. Do we join a team or do we create a team? <sighs> Literally everybody on that team except for Earnhardt's pretty pissed. And that's for JD Motorsports. Or I can run for Brandon Built Motorsports. Let's. I don't have enough to start a team. So, looks like we are joining at JD Motorsports. So, let's do that. Select whose car I would like to drive. Do I want to drive Earnhardt's? Jesse Little's. I drive the Whataburger car. I drive the 15 car. It's ironic because these are all cars that I always saw at the back of the damn pack whenever I had a hot seat. Drive my own car, Axe. Do you want to join JD Motorsports? Take Jeffrey Earnhardt's spot and then drive the pilot Flying J car. I don't want to get rid of Earnhardt. If anything, you see like 19 of these fucking red and yellow parts here. So yeah, yeah, we're gonna take his spot. Is what we're gonna do. <clears throat> So, should give us the option, there we are, to create our own car. So, let's edit the style. Because, you know, now that we're kind of getting up there in the big leagues, even though we have zero career victories. What number do we want to run? Do I continue with the 94? I know I've been running 94 forever. Wow, that is glitching like hell. I always run number 94, so we might as well continue to run the 94. If this decides it's gonna stop geeking and twitching out. It's going really, really incredibly slow, but I wanna get my paint scheme done, and then I'm gonna go to bed, and I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. I will finish recording the rest of this tomorrow. I see I love that because that reminds me of Bill Elliott's freaking numbers, man. At least we're in a Camaro. Why the hell are the wheels orange? That looks dumb as hell. So I'm thinking. See in NASCAR Heat 4, we got to this point. And I had a thin blue line down on the bottom. I'm thinking maybe, just maybe, we incorporate the yellow. And maybe do a white. And just change the car to solid black. Decisions 
Dude, this is geeking out. It's pissing me off. I think we might run a similar scheme as to what we ran in NASCAR Heat 4. So let's change this to one. For some reason it looks a little bit different, but it is what it is. Do we change the outline here to black? Do we keep it white and change it gray? Well, you we always run the blue and make the numbers white. Alright, yeah, I like that a lot better. Well, that's going to be our paint scheme, guys, for our first Xfinity season. We're we'll riding the Pilot Flying J number 94, Snussy Copen. Camaro. I will catch up with you guys for what is tomorrow for me, but a quick snap of the fingers for you guys. It's like really simple. It's like all of a sudden I just do a little snap like this and then I see it tomorrow. So it'll kind of be like, all right, guys, new start. We didn't do hot in qualifying. We qualified in last, but we're starting in 34th. Hopefully this starts a new chapter of our NASCAR Heat 5 career. Chase Briscoe, he's well prepared for the rail prepared for the race. Timmy Hill had an engine change after qualifying, and Brandon Jones had to replace the transmission before the race. Well, let's see how we do here. Little man's joining us today for the race. Let's see if we can make a run towards the front. I love running on super seas super speedways because we can, as long as we stay in the draft we're fine and uh i think we can make a genuine good push for the front looks like we got our teammate Earnhardt in front of us so hopefully we can really make a push towards the front of the pack here start off the year first year in the xfinity series get some type of momentum going into the rest of the season not under our own team Hopefully this sheds some light on us and hopefully we can make a push forward. We're already up into looks like 25th and making a push forward. I'm actually going to jump into the middle lane, but we got a little bit of a bump from the 20. We are pushing it three wide. Got the 90 car loose. He is slowing us up. We need to get back on track. Let's get back down to that bottom lane. We dropped all the way back to 27. 90 car kind of screwed us up there a little bit, but we did run into the back of him. It's all right. This is a short five lap race to start off the season. Whew. I'm really hoping we can turn this around and uh, start getting some momentum in our career. And the plus side of running for a team means, hey, guess what? We can just stockpile some money. See if we can get him the four car. I believe he's a teammate of ours as well. So right now, running P25. I think we can get into the top 15 here. I think as long as we can stay in the draft for the next three laps, we can make our way into the top 15. Highly achievable, and that'll be a great start off to the season. We are a little bit slower, but we are slowly picking up speed. Running 194 mile an hour right now, 95. Now we're getting some serious momentum. Got a phone call midway through the back stretch. Thankfully, that was through the back stretch and not during a turn. So that was at least a plus. I got to put my phone on. Airplane up to P22. So just so you guys know, if you guys see a little bit of a glitch there, that is, that is why I had to stop recording and answer the phone call and then jump back into the race. P21 right now with two to go. I'm, I'm still shooting for that top 15 finish here. Looks like we're going to pick up two spots potentially right here through 
turns one and two. All the way up into P19. Ooh, kind of turned myself a little bit too hard. Slowed us down quite a bit. That's not good. Back to P21. Let's get back in line. Hopefully get a push from behind. We are definitely getting a solid push. Hopefully we can take advantage of that push. I need to get under that 93 car. Come on, baby. Let's get that top 15. White flag is out. P20. Either way, this is still a solid run in comparison to what we've been running. Oh! Alright, P17. Now, now the hunt is on. Looks like Gregson got slowed down a little bit. I don't know if we have the speed here to get underneath him. I think it's a possibility as long as he doesn't drop down. We can get that P15, hug the bottom line. Let's keep going. Let's go. We are going to finish at Daytona. P15 in our first Xfinity career race. That is a great way to start off our Xfinity series. All right, guys. If this was your first time watching a video on my channel, hope you guys give this video a big thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell because that is the best thing that you guys can do to support the channel. I'm going to recoup, get some ideas together for some paint schemes, and just keep producing some content. Typically, we will have two to three races in an episode, but with us jumping up into the Xfinity series, I felt like I had to show you guys what paint scheme I was going to be running. Till the next time, guys. I'll see you.